Hey everybody, Stu Bear 62 here again. I have another flavor here from Freedom to Bake, which is called Dunhill 18 milligrams. And I'll just show this to you. Dunhill 18 milligrams. And if you can see here on the top, it looks like another label underneath their label. Um, they're a little bit better this time covering it up, but I can tell it's it's a Bose decaying liquid with their label over it. And like I said in that blueberry review, I mean, you can see in the bottom here that it, it shows that. I don't really care for when a company does that. Like I said, I uh, take off the label that it comes with it. It's a pain in the ass, but you know, if you're going to leave it on there like that, try and clean it up something. Because, I mean, I can probably sit here and try and take this off. And, like I said, it, it shows the uh, Bose Decang label there. So, um, chocolate cap. I have a 510 unmodified cart. Again, I got my 510 manual battery. I'll put a little bit in here for some of the smell. It's got somewhat of a, a light and nutty smell to it. That's pleasant. It's almost like a 555, but not as nutty as the 555 is. Kind of reminds me of a course between 555 and an all white 4. Let's see how this sucker goes. I'm just going to put some in here. Not bad. It's got a nutty flavor to it, but like I said, it's a course between a 555 and an all white 4. Not overly sweet, not really a chemical taste afterwards, slight bit chemical taste afterwards. I guess you can say that's due to the PG in there, I'm not sure, uh, it's the first time I'm ever doing a Dunhill. Um, it's got quite a bit of flavor, huh, vapor, and um, taste isn't bad. Um, Smell, I'm going to give this, I'm going to give it a 7 for the smell. A vape, I'm going to give it an 8. Taste, I'm going to give it an 8. Throat hit, I'm getting something there, so I'm going to give that a 7. It's got a pretty good throat hit. And uh, customer service, unfortunately, like I said, from Freedom to Vape. Uh, this is another one that I got from them for doing a review. I did not pay for this. This was free of charge. Um... You know, from for what I've been reading around on forums and so forth, um, not too many complaints. But um, no, I'm gonna have to try and base it off for that. And again, I'm gonna have to give it an eight out of ten. Um, I see a lot more people happy with freedom to faith than anything. Um, so you know, Dunhill, if you guys like five five five. But want something a little less nutty, Dunhill might be the way to go. If you like the all white four and you don't care for all that caramel or um, cotton candy flavor, some people say it has, or the sweetness of it, then Dunhill's the way to go. I like it. I really do like this. Um, this is something that I would recommend to people to go ahead and try, um, whether it be from Freedom to Vape. So 
it's not bad. I don't know the pricing on Freedom to Vapes um, liquids, and uh, I guess I should have gone there and done a little bit more homework, but um, I wanted to get a couple of them done for them. Um, this is one that I would recommend. Uh, I guess you could say highly recommend because it's got that it's got a nice fake to it the flavor I find very enjoyable um, I don't really care too much for the 555 I would, I would have rather have that a little less nutty but you know what Dunhill takes care of that for me so um, this this would be in my top 10 flavors to vape uh, probably around like number 6 or 7 um, I, I do have flavors that I did that I, I have that are in the top 10 that are worse than this but um, still better than the other one I had from them which was the blueberry but um, this is a pretty good vape and about four seconds in I start getting a throat hit so that's pretty good um, it's not overly killing your throat. Kind of dry you out a little bit on the on the exhale. Um, smooth. So, you know, downhill. Not bad. 18 milligrams. I can dig that. Maybe if you get like a 24 milligram on downhill, or maybe even yeah, 24 milligrams. Because I I know. Um, Boge Decaying doesn't go any higher than 24. At least I haven't seen it lately. So I do like the child proof caps. So, um, you know, this is pretty cool. Uh, Freedom to Vape. Uh, F R E E D O M number 2 V A P E dot com. Uh, go there, pick up some, some Dunhill, you'd be very happy with it, especially if you like the 555 and the All White 4. Or if you're looking for a different flavor than the 555, such as a, a little bit lighter on the nuttiness. Um, and also, if you're not too keen on having that caramel or some people say cotton candy flavor on the All White 4, this will fit the bill for you, okay? Well, that's it. That's uh, that'll be the review on this one. And um, I always say, be good. If you can't be good, be bad. I lose everybody. Peace out. And please, tape on. All right. Get off them analogs. You know people that smoke. Please try to get them off. Let's try to save people lives with this stuff. Um, you get people off of smoking those analogs. There's so much that they can do, so much more. Uh, I know I'm one. I've been smoking since I was eight. I'm 47 now, so that's 39 years. And uh, I can tell you, I don't hack up in the morning. I breathe a lot better. Um, unfortunately, I still have my disability, which is really hampering me. I'm doing a lot of stuff that I used to be able to do. But, um, you know, that's just something I have to live with. But, uh, Get yourself some Dunhill. I recommend this for people out there. Alright. Take care for now. Till next review. Bye.